All right, guys, one point on that Kimura is I see a lot of people just trying to stay on that elbow for way too long. You know, that's gonna be grinding you up in the street. You're still gonna get mat burned even on the mats. You know, if I'm in here and I found that hand, one, two, see how quick I got off that elbow? There's a lot of you trying to make this move and you're up on that elbow and that's not gonna feel great in the street there. And then you're trying to rip it through there. So grab one right here. I'm giving that little push and I'm getting out to the side. Look, and this guy, I can be moving around. He can be fighting. I've got him in here. You can play a little bit. I've got him here. The biggest thing I'd be worried about is what he's doing over to here. All right. Maybe he's biting me. Maybe he's, you know, smashing me. Worst case, you know, he's got an, a rock. He's got a knife or something there, but he's fighting. Then you're going to have time to come in and overpower them in that fight potentially, right? He can still overpower me. I could still go to a kickoff, right? If I can't get that and I could, you know, work to a kickaway position if I feel like I'm not getting it. So that's a real common problem with that Kimura. Any questions there? All right, let's talk about Jordy putting me on. And, you know, again, we've talked about it when I talk about it all the time. You can't be too late. Like, right, Jordy's going for that arm right here. Can I come in and potentially somersault before he gets that? Sorry, Jordy, I'm talking. Yes. I know you're like Dude, coming yes. in there, right? That he's got my arm and he's weak there. He didn't, all right, get this leg around. You guys follow me? And even if he's there, you're tucking yourself and now fight's on. You're just somersaulting out. Fight, fight would be on from there. Right, you've got, if you're early enough, you're recognizing it, and they don't get that leg around, you can somersault out, all right? You can even do that if they forgot. They made a rookie mistake. They don't have that seatbelt across my back. Go ahead and just put the whole thing on except for the seatbelt, right? If I'm in here, I can tuck my head and I can escape. I've changed the position, all right? So now I'm in the fight doing whatever I can to get out of that but I'm out of that immediate submission if I have the time. It's your basic somersault, which I know like adults are like, when was the last time you did a somersault before you came to Krav Maga? Probably been a while. So it's your basic somersault early. But now look, like we talked about, could I be doing stuff with that other hand? But look, as Jordy goes right here, I'm going to try to protect. I recognize that they were going after my arm. Rewind a little bit, Jordy, right? You were in the fight, you recognize you made a mistake, or boom, he pricked you up, boom, come in and grab the back of your knee, and it'll give you a second to fight, you know, can you smash him, can you bite him here? Whatever you might be able to do there. You might be able to grab your own belt, right? In there, I feel bad for you ladies with yoga pants, they're just gonna be super stretchy. Are you guys, you have a belt? That's great, you have it in Krav, you know, grab onto it because if you wear a belt day to day, that's something there. So jeans, anything, that'll give me some time to potentially, all right, work my way out of that. Other than that, you guys are too late, right? And you've got that arm, you got that injury you have to deal with in the fight. So questions? All right, go.